Good morning, it's Monday, April 5th. Today on World Watch, you may not be traveling in comfort, but riders will be cruising in style through the countryside of Colombia in these hand-painted buses. And ships are moving again in the Suez Canal after that big backup that lasted nearly two weeks. But do you have what it takes to navigate the pass? Now, this is Top Story. China doesn't cotton to criticism, and it's hitting back at governments and businesses accusing it of using forced labor. That's Chinese designer Zhu Li at China Fashion Week. Yes, that's a bouquet of raw cotton. No, it's not just for looks, it's a political statement. Zhu supports her country's boycotts against Western apparel brands, whose leaders have accused communist China of human rights abuses in Xinjiang province. That region is known for its excellence in cotton, contributing 20% of the world's supply. Xinjiang cotton is my sweetheart. I feel really comfortable wearing Xinjiang cotton, and I have a sense of national pride. But investigations have found evidence that authorities in Xinjiang use forced labor from the minority Muslim people known as Uyghurs. Sweden's H&M clothing company has stopped using Xinjiang cotton altogether. The U.S. and other Western governments suspect China of detaining, torturing, and indoctrinating Uyghurs in camps in northwestern China. This Chinese student is standing by the official government script. I think these kinds of comments are really stupid because I believe our Chinese Communist Party. They wouldn't do such a thing. And China is fighting back with more than words. H&M, Burberry, Nike, Adidas and other Western brands have been hit by consumer boycotts from the communist state. A boycott by China is a big deal, considering China is a nation of nearly 1.4 billion people. Been watching Top Story for a while? Why don't you try out our full program free for a month? Just head over to worldwatch.news, click on the button in the middle of the screen that says stream 30 days of videos for free. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.